I'm Sean with Competition Motorsport, and today we are going to talk a little bit about head and neck restraints in our How to Buy series. Uh, we are a premier racing store out of Austin, Texas, uh, so give us a call for any needs that you might have. Uh, but today we're going to concentrate on head and neck restraints, uh, or some people may say uh, H&Rs, Hans devices, um, next gens. There's a bunch of different names for them, but in the end they're here to protect your neck uh, in an auto accident. Um, there are three different types of devices that we're going to focus on today. Um, we have what's considered a next gen device, um, a Hans device, and what's called a hybrid device. So we're going to get into each of these. Uh, some of the differences on these and um, help you decide what's best for you and your driving style. Choosing uh, the correct Hans device uh, may determine what type of driving you're doing. Are you going to be in a racing series or are you just doing some track day stuff? Do you have harnesses or do you just have a three-point harness in your car? Uh, those will all help determine what's the best device for you. So in most racing series you are going to be required to wear an SFI or FI rated device. Uh, but if you are just doing track day stuff, um, you may find yourself in a hybrid device with a three-point harness. Uh, I can't overly state that if you are running any type of harnesses in your car, you should be wearing a Hans device for your safety. And even in a three-point harness, a uh, hybrid device is going to, do, uh, going to protect you in the way that you need to be protected in case of an accident. Uh, we're going to once again talk about the different devices here and what makes them good for each situation or for you. Here we have a next gen device. It's a little bit different H&R device than the other devices. It is set up for two inch and three inch harnesses, does have an adjustable tether, and as you can see, does not have frontal yokes on it. This is good for four point, five point, and six point harnesses and is SFI certified. Here we have a Hans device. It is the most recognizable H&R device on the market. They have been in the industry longer than anybody else. It has a standard slide and clip pull system, frontal yokes. They are good for two and three inch harnesses uh, of a four, five, or six point standard. Shown here is the hybrid device by Simpson. Uh, as you can see, it has carbon fiber that goes all the way down your back and a latching system that wraps around your body. This is the only device recommended for three point harnesses. It does use your body to help support your neck in the event of an auto accident. When checking out a Hans device, uh, it's obviously best to have proper fitment of the device. Uh, some of the most important key features is, is your neck width. You're going to want to measure your neck uh, from one side to another to get proper fitment. Most of these devices come in two to three different sizes and finding the proper fitment is most important. You do not want your neck to be pinched in between of these. You want to have space uh, left for movement of your head and neck and you also don't want the outsides rolling over your shoulders for the safety that you need uh, out of these devices. Many of these devices do come in uh, composite or carbon form. Uh, obviously the carbon fiber is lighter weight. It's going to reduce fatigue and be better suited for endurance style driving um, and, and they look cool. Another key point uh, that you should be considering when purchasing your Hans device um, is the angle of the lean. Uh, most of these come in a 20 degree lean, which is standard for most circuit racing driving. Uh, but if you do find yourself in a more laid back or more upright seat, not all devices are going to be perfect for your situation. So do make sure that you are in a, in a seat that your device works best with, um, or get yourself into something that you may have no angle um, to interfere with your seat. So these are things you have to consider in the form of racing that you're doing and what device is going to be best suited for you. I can't stress enough how important H&R devices are uh, for your driving, whether you're just doing uh, track day driving sessions or you're, you're in a racing series. There is something that is suited for you to help keep you safe on the track. I highly encourage that you look into the devices, give us a call if you have any questions, um, and we can help find the proper H&R device for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call 844-438-7244 or look us up on competitionmotorsport.com and don't forget to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching and remember we got what you need, when you need it, no excuses.